Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to episode 178 of the 4,000 Question Challenge. Uh, do you pick up after yourself? Look at the mess behind me. Do you really think I'm good at that? I am not good at that. Um, do you use deodorant, antiperspirant, or both? I use deodorant. Um, I do not use antiperspirant. I don't care if I, if I sweat. I just would prefer if I didn't stink a whole lot for other people. Um, are your books alphabetized or categorized? <laughs> You're funny. Um, do you like or dislike foreigners? Holy fuck! Do you like or dislike foreigners? Self-help. This is supposed to be a self-help book. What? At confronting your own implicit bias? At dealing with your own racism? Or your bigotry? <laughs> Do you like or dislike foreigners? Um, I like and dislike people for who they are. I do not run that filter through my head that says, well, that person's from another country. I automatically do or do not like them. Um, that's sorry. I work really hard at trying to not be a bigot. And I think I've gotten to the point where that particular filter, if I ever had it, has been turned off. So no, I don't run people through that filter in my head, deciding if I like them or dislike them based on their the origins of their birth <laughs> wow that's a horrible question i really want to talk to this woman someday dr uh, dr barbara ann kipfer sorry the, the it's the letters are screwed up in the back dr dr barbara ann kipfer k-i-p-f-e-r she is a piece of work uh, do you try to save an extra seat for, for yourself on the train or in a movie? Hell no. What am I, I going to... Why would I try to take a seat away from somebody else? That's very rude and greedy and... That's... That's, that's not healthy. <laughs> Are your pets allowed to ride in the car, lie on the furniture, or go visiting with you... Go on family vacations, be fed at the table. Well, my car, cats only go in the car when they're in a carrier, and they're usually going to the vet. Um, so they don't like that much. Um, they're cats, so they lie anywhere they goddamn well please. All right? There is no way to stop a cat from going any place it wants to go unless you close the door to that room. Um, they don't really go visiting with me because they don't ever leave the house except to go to the vet. Um, people can come here, but two of them are not all that social. One of them is fairly social. Um, they don't leave the house, so they don't go on my family vacations. Um, and I don't eat at the table frequently. I usually eat at the computer or sitting in the living room. Um, and uh, some of the foods I eat are things that the cats would like to partake of, and I will share with some of them with them. Some Most of the food I eat, the cats don't want to partake in, so I don't share my foods with them. Um, so no, I guess my cats don't have the full range of pet experiences that some other people's pets do, and I, they seem to be okay. Mandarin is sitting right there. She seems quite fine. Uh, do you make the bed daily? I straighten the blankets and sheets every day, but like in the summertime, the only thing we have on the bed is a shingle sheet and a single blanket. We don't put a comforter on the bed just to make it look nice in the summertime. So we're not going to sleep with that comforter in, this, in the summertime. It's too darn hot. So it's just a sheet and a blanket on top. And that's what we, I will straighten them out so they look neat. And that's it. And put pillows on top of the pillows we sleep on so because our cat Mandarin will sleep on top of our pillows if we don't cover them. Sometimes she sleeps on the pillows when we're on the pillows, which can be quite a, a bit of an annoyance. Um, where do you usually get most of your news about what is going on in the world today? Um, YouTube is a good source. Uh, I get a lot. I get quite leads from TYT. Um, but most of the stuff is I visit a lot of blogs and, and blogs on a regular basis. Every day I'm on all kinds of different sites. 
um, from news aggregate sites, the Metafilter, FARC, which are great sources of, of news, even if the opinions expressed about them are sometimes very biased. Um, uh, and even Tumblr is a good lead to get you, to get you pointed in the right direction to go do some hunting for yourself. But yeah, I tend to do research on my own before I hop on board on opinion. Um, do you gamble regularly? No, I do not. Uh, do you play the lottery? No, I do not. I uh, cannot remember the last time I bought a lottery ticket. I've done it. Um, and I imagine I may could very well do it again, but I do not regularly play the lottery. And uh, gambling as far as like actually putting money on something other than like a scratch ticket and a lottery card. Um, like, I have been involved in like company pools. I've done that. In fact, I remember one time I was in a regular one. It was five bucks a week. And I think I won it twice. Um, but, uh, no, nah, I'm not, not really into the whole the whole gambling lottery thing. It just never drew, drew me in. Couldn't tell you why. Um, maybe because that I understand that if you don't play, like, the Powerball, you have about as much chance of winning as the people that do play the Powerball. I have a small grasp of statistics I understand how unlikely it is that you will play that you will win but sometimes I have known known because I'm like what the hell I'll put a dollar in if I win cool if I won't if I don't it was a dollar I spend that kind of money in that way on things all the time when it comes to like I think we don't have this DVD let's pick it up or you know I think my wife might like this well I was wrong she didn't like it it gets donated again you know so Sometimes you take those kind of small gambles and see if they pay off, but they're on a personal level as opposed to on the kind of gambling scale. No one else is involved in that bet but me. Um, okay, so thank you for being here for episode 178 of the 4,000 Question Challenge, and I hope that you will be here for episode 179.